Hey guys, I've updated my graphing calculator and I want to explain how to use it. This update brings many performance changes so those on lower end devices won't suffer as much. So we're going to first look at the function section. This is where you write your equation. I already wrote one already and using the blocks on here you can change the equation. For example, I can put an 8 instead of a 5. Okay. And like before you can click the button here to graph. I'm going to do that later. So the biggest change is that you can now save and load equations. So if I really like this equation, I can go down here and just save it. I can give it a name, new function, and it will save. I can also load the function. So if I, if I got rid of it, I can just click the button here and load it. If I don't want the function anymore, I can just break the sign and it will disappear. I have made a few functions for you guys, so you can just load them up and try them out. You can have a lot of save functions. Uh, you can keep going down and extending the area, so you can save here. But I doubt anyone's going to use this much. So uh, let's go back up. Uh, similarly to how you can pull this down, when writing a really long function, you, you, you will pull this uh, to the right and uh, give yourself more area. Now onto the settings. Uh, graph on, uh, that's self-explanatory. Uh, smooth blocks has, uh, has been revamped. So now, unless you're working with very precise equations, uh, you probably won't need this. Degrees mode, uh, self-explanatory, goes from degrees and radians. Uh, full speed rendering. Uh, this is good for if you're doing 2D, but if you're doing 3D, it will slow down quite a bit, so I don't recommend it. And here are the three modes. There's large, small 3D, and uh, 2D. You just click these buttons to switch. And, yeah. Uh, okay. Don't remove old graph. It won't remove the old graph, so you can actually compare between two graphs. Uh, so... Let's clear the area, turn on full speed rendering, don't remove old graph, and let's set it to 2D. Okay, so let's just render this. Oh, it's not on. That. Uh, this. And now we can compare these. Well, we can also render a 3D object, so let's clear and then do mountains. Uh, wait for it to load the range, and we can start graphing. Well, that's about it. Uh, if you have any functions that I should add, please leave it in the comments, and next time I update this map, I may add it. See you guys later.